Alright guys, one of Demayer's writers here, back with another video, and in this one I'm going to be reviewing Army of the Dead, which was released on Netflix today. Army of the Dead is directed by Zack Snyder and stars Dave Bautista, Ella Purnell, Anna de la Reguera, Amari Hardwick, and Garrett Dillahunt. This will contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend you go watch it now and then come back. Army of the Dead follows a group of people, mostly former military, led by Scott Ward, as they break into a zombie-infested Las Vegas in order to steal $250 million for Bly Tanaka. In addition to the zombies, there is also an impending nuclear strike on the area, to add a ticking clock to the mix. Eventually, it is revealed that Tanaka's man who came with them, Martin, is actually there to get the head of an alpha zombie, and the money means nothing to them. They hope to sell the zombie head to the US government or the highest bidder so they can have their own zombie horde. Eventually, this movie devolves into a normal zo survival zombie movie rather than a heist. Firstly, this is not your typical zombie apocalypse movie for a, for a few reasons. Firstly, the government was able to contain the outbreak to Las Vegas. Due to this, the characters chose to enter the zombie kingdom rather than being thrust into it like you usually see. They also have modern weapons and technology to fight the zombies. Also, the zombies are smart, kind of. Most are your typical slow and stupid zombies, but there are also alpha zombies who are faster, smiter, smarter, they can fight, and they are the leaders of the pack. The zombies also have relationships and emotions. At one point, it was revealed that one of them was pregnant, right before they died, and this is a very emotional scene for the zombies, and then they are grief-struck. These aren't just the fast zombies, such as the ones in 2004's Dawn of the Dead or 2013's World War Z, but they are smart and civilized. There are also zombie animals, such as a zombie tiger and a zombie horse, but them being animals doesn't affect the story too much. The most notable, noticeable thing the animals did was when the tiger killed Martin, but that could have been done by any normal zombie instead. Overall, I liked the fresh spin on zombies, but at times it felt like there were too many. After the initial bombings, there should not have been this many zombies left to begin with. But considering a few months have gone by and the military has surrounded Las Vegas for a while, it becomes hard to believe. This isn't Zack Snyder's first zombie movie. He directed 2004's Dawn of the Dead, which I thought was a much better movie. That movie got pretty much everything right about the zombie genre, and this was one, this one, well, and while this one was certainly enjoyable, it doesn't come without its flaws. What surprised me was how different this movie is to Dawn of the Dead. I was expecting a much darker movie where everyone is sad most of the time, but plenty of the characters are pretty lighthearted and they even crack a jo an occasional joke, which I thought benefited the movie. This movie would not have worked as well as it did without its semi-lighthearted tone. I thought this movie looked very good. It was colorful and it was easy to look at. A scene that comes to mind is when Bert is being attacked by and dragged by the zombies. The camera made you feel very claustrophobic and made you feel the terror he felt looking at these horrifying zombies. That is one example, but great camera work like this is used throughout the movie, and most credit probably goes to Zack Snyder, who in addition to being the director of the movie, was also the director of photography. Army of the Dead contained a very large amount of deaths, similar to Dawn of the Dead. Anyone, anyone who has seen that movie such, in my, such as myself should have probably seen that coming. Zack Snyder was relentless when it came to the gore factor in the deaths, the main one being Martin. He was torn apart by a tiger, mostly on screen. Most of the other deaths were very gory as well, and so was the movie as a whole. A problem I usually have with zombie movies is poor genre effects. Gore effects. The Walking Dead, which I watched so much, has such great ones, so watching one with subpar effects can be difficult, but this movie was certainly more than up to the challenge. So I've talked about what I've liked, now I gotta talk about what I was disappointed by. Firstly, the characters. I just want to say that it has nothing to do with their performances. None were bad, and I would say most were good. The problem is the script didn't do enough to make me care about them. The only deaths I actually cared about were Scott and Dieter, and the latter's was only because he made a noble sacrifice. I should care about more than two deaths considering how many deaths there were in the movie. Also, I was confused why any of these people went into the zombie kingdom. Are they really going to risk death like this for as little as $20,000 in some cases? The only people who I understood why they were going were Scott, Kate, Lily, and Vanderhoe. The rest had no reason to be entering a zombie kingdom. The soundtrack didn't bother me for most of the movie, until the end. I've always been pretty impressed at how the song Zombie is not often used in zombie media, until now. It felt like a cliche and out of place, so I had to mention it. Outside of the song choice, I thought the ending was pretty good, and it definitely left me wanting more. And thankfully, we are getting more. Kind of. Army of Thieves is a live-action prequel which will focus on Dieter in his early days cracking safes. We are also getting an animated prequel series called Lost Vegas, which will feature pre-existing characters at the beginning of the zombie outbreak. 
I'm certainly excited for both of those and would also love to see a direct sequel. It could feature Vanderhow as the main villain zombie and could chronicle the end of the world as this time the virus is not contained so easily. Overall, this movie is very fun and I definitely recommend it. I think I'll give this movie a solid B. Let me know what you thought in the comments and comment what movie or TV show you would like us to discuss next. Please also remember to like and subscribe. This is one of Demare's writers and we'll see you guys in the next one.